Hey guys, what's going on? Planted Tech Nation, this is Mitch. I just decided to make a quick video today about kind of like a vlog type thing of, about my maintenance of this tank and actually one of the last looks of this tank before I tear it down. So I'll be shipping out some plants today. As you can see, it's very overgrown. Very, very overgrown. But I'll be talking about a little bit how I ship out, out these plants and just about the maintenance on this tank. And you can kind of see my whole setup down here. The fluval canister, the ferts, the uh, API mesher test kit for the water and the, my food. That's basically the setup of the tank. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this new camera. It's a really nice camera. Sorry for the glare as I usually don't do these videos midday but this video is sick I mean this camera is sick let's take a quick look as you can see this is a Sony Handycam I think it's a very nice camera um, well anyway enough of that so yeah I'm looking to take down this tank in a couple weeks uh, set up uh, with the new fresh setup and try to maximize the the potential of a low tech tank I I think it'll be a cool project I'll, I think I'll be doing a 30 gallon as you can see everything's overgrown but anyway I just when I ship out plants I just use the corner of this bag I just put them on the corner fold it over and then fit it in this uh, flat rate box and um, I don't use any paper towels or anything. I've done it like this every time. Um, I think paper towels might take away a little bit of the moisture from the bag. And obviously that's not good. So I've just done it like this every time. And it's worked out for me. I mean, it's definitely worked out for me. So um, I'll continue this video after I have the plants all packed up and ready to go. Hey guys, so finish up that water change. Tank obviously doesn't look great, but that's that's expected after every um, trimming of the plants. But it'll grow back in. I'll use those plants that grow back in to get my next tank going. Hopefully in uh, two, three weeks. So, but back to this. Um, I use two big double Ziploc bags. Um, I put one inside the other and I put tape around the, I don't even know what to call it, I put tape around the zip part of the second bag. So this has worked every time for me, no matter what the weather, even though I'm a little bit worried this time because it's hot both here and in Atlanta where it's going. But it should be fine, they're hardy plants, Ludwigia, Limnophilia, Stargrass, they'll do good. They have already con condensed down as plants do in the package. Once you get them out, they look a lot bigger. But I'm going to put in that small flat rate box. I'm going to get them shipped out today. And this tank will fill back in. And I'll get hopefully get my next project started. And might even start the workings of a shrimp tank in this upcoming week or this week. So that will be exciting. I'll make sure to make a series of videos for you guys on that. And it's going to go in a corner of a desk. Not here, but in another room. So, sorry for the boring video, guys. I just wanted to put something out there. Give it a like if you're still watching. And, and don't be afraid to comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then do so. Because we got some great videos coming up. Thanks.